समावेत भक्त वृंद की ओम ज्ञान तिरंदस्ञानाजन शलाकया चक्षुवन्मील तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित येन भूतले स्वयं रूप कदाख्यम ददाति स्वदाक वंदेहम श्रीगुरो श्रीयुतापदकमल श्रीगुरून वैष्णवांश श्रीरूप साग्रजात सह गण रघुनाथ तम सजीव साइत सवधूत पिजना सखित कृष्ण चैतन्य श्रीराधाकृष्णपाद सह गण ललिता श्री विशाखान्ता नमा ओं विष्णुपदा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषा शून्यवादी पाश्चातरिणे पांचाकलपतरोभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गाधर श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा Very happy to be here at uh, Magarpata, and Karadi devotees in AIT also has come. I heard is it? Very happy to be with all of you. All are able to see. <clears throat> In life, uh, two things are very important: the direction and the destination. If uh, these two things are clear, uh, you can live your life cheerfully throughout your life, and then you can attain the ultimate goal very easily without. Uh, too much anxiety. For example, if you take a, a student who joins a college, his father has sent him to study. His direction is clear. He is going to become an engineer. And his destination is to come back and join father's business. Correct, <laughs> na? Father says, "Beta, do your MBA, finish because you are my only son. You finish your studies and come back and take up my business, so that as I get old, I want to hand over the business to you." Huh? It's very simple. This is the direction he's supposed to take. But the boy going to college can get diverted into entertainment. Hmm? He can get diverted by bad association in the college. Hmm? Or he can get diverted by women, uh, or uh, spend his time in uh, useless trivial activities like playing and uh, you know, going here, going there. Actually, in, when I was in IIT, I have experienced boys do everything other than study. Sometimes <laughs> the purpose for which they were sent to college, you know, they do that. So that means they have lost the direction, right? Like if I am going from Pune to Mumbai. You know, So it takes actually about three hours, early morning hours. Mm-hmm. Say I want to attend my spiritual master's lecture in Chopati, for example. Mm-hmm. I am leaving Pune at five, eight sharp. I'll be there. Then I can attend the class, Maharaj's class, eight to ten. I can get good association. But while going to Bombay, if I get diverted by Chikki and uh, Lonavala, 
or if I get uh, diverted by Vada Pav and Karjad, <laughs> every station has something, correct, no? So that means the direction is lost because I am getting diverted, correct, no? So, and not, not only that, even though I fix the destination, I lost the direction. Therefore, by the time I, I took a little, uh, for chilling out, I went to Lonavala Hills. <laughs> But I relaxed in the car with open door. Suddenly realized one hour is gone. Huh? So that means uh, I lost the time because of diversion. Huh? And uh, or I went for entertaining myself with some eatables. So by the time I reached Bombay, it's 10 o'clock. Maharaj says, Gantra Shimad Bhagavatam ki. Over. <laughs> so by the destination is reached too late. Hmm? Is it not true? So that's the loss in direction. And, but there are others who not only lose direction, they lose the destination also. Uh, that means their uh, goals uh, can uh, get changed completely in the course of their life. For example, um, you can see there was one boy called Rajamila, um, born in a very good family, Brahman family. You know, pure habits, rising in the morning, bowing down to parents, studying the Vedic literature, chanting the mantras. You know, very clean life, three times Sandhya and then he would do. Comes from a good family. Mm -hmm. Parents raised him well. You can't blame them. Mm -hmm. But once when he went to forest to pluck some flowers with all good intentions, mm -hmm. there he saw some dirty sight of one low-class woman, low-class man embracing, kissing, a dirty sight he saw. And uh, that polluted his mind. Mm -hmm. When he came back, he developed a uh, uh, new plan. Uh, he told his chaste wife, to go back to your parents' home. And he told his parents that I am going to bring this prostitute into my house, so you get lost. So parents were religious, wife was chaste, but he drove them all away mm -hmm. and brought this low-class woman into his house and we got ten sons in her womb. So his whole destination got changed. He was a Brahman, supposed to be heading towards Vaikuntha. Now he became a debauchee heading towards hell. So what got changed? Destination got changed. Destination got changed. Totally. Because of uh, bad association. Hmm? He got polluted by bad association. But by some unimaginable good fortune, you know, some sadhu gave name to his last child as Narayana. Hmm? And then uh, he has been calling Narayana, Narayana several times. Some punya came in there. The last point of his life, when he was ready to be taken to that uh, bad destination, which is hell, huh? at that time, out of great fear, passing stool and urine in the bed, he shouted, Narayana! Like that he shouted. Huh? At that time, Lord Vishnu took pity on him and uh, sent him, uh, sent the devotees to him. Huh? And the devotees saved. Not only devotees saved, they gave him a new direction and spoke to him of the actual destination. They said, this is the direction. The destination is Vaikuntha. Mm -hmm. So, at that time, he became awakened to the correct direction and destination. But the, be uh, and the beauty is, uh, he realized his uh, mistakes. He repented very bitterly. And then, you will find that what follows was a very beautiful life. He left all sinful activities, went to Haridwar, Stayed in a Vishnu temple, took bath in Ganges, associated with saintly people, studied Gita Bhagavatam, chanted the holy name, worshipped the deities. Twelve years very intensely with uh, no ambiguity or confusion or temptation or allurements. You know, with one pointed focus, he worshipped Lord Vishnu. And then after twelve years, the same Vaikuntha Vasis came and took him in a Vaikuntha airplane back home, back to Godhead. So attained the destination. So one thing becomes clear from this pastime. If you are clear about the direction you should take in life and the destination that you wish to achieve and you, you can see it with full clarity, mm -hmm. with no ambiguity mm -hmm. and uh, you are also convinced about these two things mm -hmm. and you are fixed in a path mm -hmm. uh, which actually is laid out by the Acharyas uh, and we walk that royal path mm -hmm then one can perfect one's human form of life. But as I told you, so I gave you two examples. Let us write down.
correct correct now <clears throat> let us see a typical vedic life In Vedic life, you will see Correct. If you see what is Brahmana as well. This is his goal. Mm -hmm. So, Brahmana means study and teach scriptures. Huh? Purify heart, please Guru and Krishna. Very simple. So, similarly, what is the duty of a uh, Kshatriya? Hmm? Yeah. You are giving a height. Yeah. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Similar Chatriya, what is Chatriya supposed to do? Huh? Correct, no? Uh, so this is, so all these things Kshatriya did, protecting five weaklings, you all know that. Five weaklings means who are they? Children, women, old people, cows and Brahmins. Mm -hmm. He's protecting them. Administering law and order means thieves and rogues should be curbed in society. No corruption, no criminal activities. Everything should be, you know, finished. And welfare of Praja means, you know, planting trees, digging wells, Building schools, colleges, hospitals, uh, for the physical, emotional, mental, uh, ultimately spiritual well-being, for that he has built temples. Uh, for the ultimately welfare, all-round welfare of the Praja, that is the duty of a Kshatriya. Uh, I mean, he acts on behalf of Supreme Lord as Naradeva. Naradeva means? Is a Nara means human, Deva means Lord. That means a man who acts like the Lord, as good as the Lord he acts exactly. Like Dushtir Maharaj acted. Hmm? So you have Yudhishthir, you know, you have Ambarish and such people, isn't it? Hmm? And what does the Vaishya do? You know that, uh, you know, Krishi. Krishi means farming. Trading and cow protection, isn't it? And then give charity to Brahmins and tax to king and commodities to Shudras. That means he is the one who maintains the society, correct? Huh? Provides uh, for everybody, Brahman, Chatriya, and Shudra. So, Vaishyas are the economy generators. Mm -hmm. Generate economy and then distribute it to the other three classes. That is his. Again, he is doing it all on behalf of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shudra. Assist. 
Double three. And whatever he is told to do. Like for example, Brahmana needs physical help in Yajna. Kshatriya needs soldiers. Needs in Correct, huh? They all need helping hands huh? in uh, trading, farming, and cow production. Chatra needs soldiers, foot soldiers, you know, horse soldiers, and all. So, Shudra has only joined those things. Brahmana hmm? needs Yajna to be, Yajna Kunda to be made. So, bringing the bricks or stones, huh? you know, and also uh, doing some uh, physical work and helping, carrying something, things like that. Hmm? So, in this way, you will find all the four people. Are you able to observe that they all are aligned with the Lord? We are able to see. Hmm? This is the Vedic life. Means this is the kind of work. And this is the goal. Huh? So, the goal is one, work is different. Huh? Here you will see the work is given below. Hmm? And uh, now, the goal, let us write the goal. Above, I gave his work. What is the goal? Samsidhir. Yeah. All four classes act for pleasure of Lord Hari. No other goal. <laughs> That's the only goal. Uh -huh. That is the only goal. Goal is very clear for everybody. Work is different, but goal is the same. Ultimate goal is one. Mm -hmm. Adapum Virdvija Sreshtha Varna Ashrama Vivagashaha so, Anushtita Sadharmasya Samsiddhir Haritoshanam. Now, why is this Haritoshanam important? Because that is the reason I told you first here. Coming back, then we have to come back to the first one direction and destination. Why? For example, what direction we should take in life here and what destination we should aspire for? If you see like that. So, Shastra say your destination is Samsiddhir Haritoshanam. You have to act for the pleasure of Guru and Krishna. Just like therefore I gave the example. What example I gave you in the beginning here? You know. Uh, remember the example I gave you? Correct. In the same manner, you understand? Huh? This is what Krishna wants. You are, I am sending you to the material world because you want to be independent. Go to the material world, do Krishna consciousness, purify your heart and come back to me. So in this analogy, who is father? Who is the son? All of us. And uh, what is MBA here in this world? Huh. Yeah, Krishna consciousness. Huh. Do the work. Properly do your studies. Huh. And then return back to God. So the destination, therefore going back to God, it is destination. And by pleasing Krishna, we attain the destination. This is not true. Similarly, if, you, if a son pleases the father, father keeps sending money also, correct? No? Regularly. And then he can complete his studies. Properly. Mm -hmm. Now you will find, let us go to the third one. Mm -hmm. So, so, work and uh, goal of work you understood. Now the third one.
This is what happens to everybody in this world. For getting meaning, meaning of life, purpose of life, uh, due to sense gratification. You will see this happens to the boy also. Does it not happen? Huh? Like when a boy goes to a college, actually when he joined the college, he was very happy that I got into MBA or something like that. Huh? But after going there, he doesn't go to classroom, he goes to cinema, cinema theater. Hmm. He doesn't study his books. He ends up playing games, uh, roaming, and he gets into bad association. And the boys teach him boozing, huh? smoking, drinking, huh? clubs, he goes. So father is sending him money, but he's spending that money for what? Yeah, sense gratification. So he gave, his direction is lost. Huh? Why? Because he forgets the purpose for which he is sent there. Mm -hmm. So sometimes instead of four years, even five years, six years, seven years, he doesn't clear the papers at all. And the father is wondering, what's happening with my son? Why he has become like what he is? Because the main reason is forgetting the purpose for which he was sent. He has become covered over. That means he is not uh, uh, remembering his father, he is not aligned with the mission with which he was sent. So, See, you will find that when uh, all the monkeys, wanderers reached the Swayamprabha's cave, that is a, a part of Ramayana, you find where it, uh, earlier they found everything was dry in the forest. There was no water to drink, there was no fruits to eat, monkeys are about to die. At the time, somehow they entered into one area, zone, where there were very nice lakes, there were a lot of trees, they were laden with fruits and flowers and chirping birds, they were all very happy. They plucked the fruits and ate and they were very delighted. That was cave of one uh, Apsara called Swayam Prabha. Uh, so she came and spoke to the monkeys and said, this is actually Hema's cave. Huh? But the Hema has given it to me for using. So I stay here and do my tapasya. Mm -hmm. And all of you monkeys can eat to your uh, heart's content huh? as much as you wish. Everybody ate very nicely and they drank the beverages and everything and became very satisfied. At that time, uh, Tara, who was also amongst the monkeys, she gave a proposal to Angada. Anyway, we couldn't find Sita. Mm -hmm. Now, why not just stay here all our life? Mm -hmm. Because we got nice things to eat and sleep. Mm -hmm. Spend out our life here. Anyway, Sugriva, you know, if you go back with empty hands, he's going to kill us. Mm -hmm. Better not go back. Just stay here. Mm -hmm. And when Angada, the leader of the team, heard it, he nodded the head and said, wonderful idea, brilliant. <laughs> he was also saying. So, you will see that they were sent on a mission which they forgot. What was the mission? Uh, so that is the point here, these people, they forgot mission. Uh, so we need uh, devotees like Hanuman who actually can remind us of our mission repeatedly, for which we have come in this world. The goal of this world is only one thing. Hmm? You know, goal of life is to purify our heart by glorifying Lord and returning back to God. That's the only goal of life. Hmm? So, but these fellows, due to sense gratification in the Swayam Prabhu's cave, they forgot completely. Hmm? And Hanuman came forward and said, Hey, Angada and Tara, what are you guys thinking? You know, Lord Rama will send Lakshman. Mm -hmm. When Lakshman comes with his bow and arrow, when he twangs his bow, the whole world will tremble huh? in fear. He will finish all of us. He will come inside. He knows where we are. Huh? He can go anywhere. There's no place where he cannot reach. Huh? So, it's shameless. It's shameful on your part that you forgot the mission and you are going to be killed at the hands of somebody like Lakshman. What a shame it is. Huh? We should never forget the duty that is given to us. Huh? So, let us proceed further. Huh? And he told, let us tell Swam Prabhu to release us from this cave. Huh? It was a mystical cave. And let us proceed ahead further. And all of them nodded their head, yeah, yeah, Hanuman, you are right, we are sorry, we forgot. Huh? It's like a boy, father has sent him to study MBA, he's drinking. One boy comes and gives him a tight slap. Huh? 
hey, rascal, is it the money is given to you for this purpose? I am going to complain to your father. And the boy says, sorry, sorry, now I will study now. It happens or not with people. So generally the living beings tend to forget the goal of life in this world. They become forgetful and they get into sense gratification, which is the wrong direction. You know, at the same time, one should know See, it is not that the Lord totally prohibits sense gratification. He knows very well that living beings have come to this world with certain mentality. Mm -hmm. What is the mentality with which they come here? Enjoy. Enjoy. Although Lord wants them to return back to Godhead, they have another program here. Like you ask any child, small kid going to school, you know, what is your program? Child has a playing program. <laughs> In a very plain truth it is. And parents have a study program for the child. Correct, no? So, parents want him to study, child wants to play. So, Lord made a combined program. Okay, education but play, along with play. Correct, no? Okay, this much time you educate yourself, this much time you can play. And that play also, it should be harmless play. You should not be harmful. Therefore, it should be sanctioned, sanctified and regulated. For example, you know, a child who takes permission from the mother or father, you know, you know, can I, you know, play these games? Huh? So the parents will allow, yes, these, these games you can play, the other games you cannot play. Like, parent may say that you don't go for skydiving. Huh? You may fall, if the parachute doesn't open, you will break your head and die. Huh? So don't go for dangerous games, but you can go for games which will not hurt you or harm you. Similarly, okay, you want some fun or entertainment, so there is sanction. For example, you can go for swimming, you can go for yoga, you can go for jogging and playing, you can play some outdoor games, huh? and you can use your smartphone, computer, you know, everything in a uh, limited way that you don't hurt yourself by them. Huh? There is a time allotted for you, how much smartphone can you use and how much TV you can use. Huh? Everything is regulated hmm? within that. That means you are not uh, banned in using those things, but it's a sanctioned, sanctified and regulated. So, for example, when I was going to school, in my school days, when I was second or third standard, I believe, right opposite the school, there would be one open uh, uh, market where one man used to sell one pink color chocolate. Huh? Pink color. So all my friends used to gather in that place and they would buy that. It's just 20, 20 paisa it is. Uh, it'll be very soft also. So I also ate once or twice and I got sick. And my mother saw that one of the days and she said, you should never eat this because a lot of flies are surrounding it. It's very bad, contaminated, it's not good. Then she took me to a shop and purchased another mitai and gave me. So uh, whenever I would go to school, she would tell me, see that mitai you should not buy. I would tell her, tell her all boys are buying. I would say, well, they may buy, but you should not buy. It's only 20 paisa. I said, that's all right. But I told her, if you buy the other mitai in the shop, it is one rupee. I said, she said, why one rupee? I'll give you 100 rupees also. Hmm? But you should eat only what is inside the bottle, not what is sold outside along with the flies. Hmm? So therefore, I saw my mother is very strict. Hmm? So one of the days when I came out of school, all my friends were pulling me. We went to the shop, open market. Hmm? They were buying that pink mitai. So as soon as I saw the mitai, immediately I remembered the mother, you should not eat it. Huh? You know. 20 paisa, no, not 20 paisa, even if it is, you know, even if that fellow gives you free also, you should not accept it. Immediately I remembered, so uh, my Lord, mother will be angry. Although she is not there immediately, I knew that she will be displeased. So in the same manner while living in the world, we should think, oh, Lord says, no meat eating, no gambling, no intoxication, no illicit sex. My Lord, I should not do that. Huh? If I do that, Krishna will be displeased. So, whatever is prohibited for me, I should not do. Whatever is sanctioned for me only, I should accept. 
and i should offer it to him get it sanctified and i should accept it in a regulated way hmm. even if it is prasad i should eat prasadam in a regulated fashion for example ekadashi day we went to this udupi matha i told the devotees find out what have they cooked for ekadashi day so devotees went and came back and told me prabhu ji there is a big this much size dindigal lock there <laughs> you know dindigal locks are the biggest locks yeah. they put a lock in the kitchen huh? I asked, what time they are going to open for cooking? They said, no cooking on Ekadashi day. Uh, all day they are doing puja, chanting, reading scriptures. My Lord, huh? we were ashamed sometimes in the name of Ekadashi Prasad. You know, we have uh, 14 course items. Huh? So many different. They have make special puri with uh, Ekadashi atta, you know that? Rajgira atta. So many sabjis, so many sweets. You wonder, is it Ekadashi day or is it some other festival day? Isn't it? Huh? Yeah, Ekadashi Dosa also. <laughs> the whole idea is what? The living entity has a tendency to become irregulated. <laughs> Correct, no? He doesn't want to be regulated. The whole idea is Lord has given a feasting program and fasting program. But the Jeeva converts fasting program also into? Fasting. See? The tendency is that. Like one fellow went to a doctor on Dwadashi day and said, Doctor, doctor, I have severe stomach pain, doctor. Doctor said, what did you do? I didn't do anything. I just fasted yesterday. Doctor said, what are you saying? Langanam Parama Aushadam. Eh? Fasting actually makes you healthy. You fasted and you became sick. I can't believe it. Eh? Did you completely fast? Even from water also? He said, no doctor, I only ate three dozen bananas, doctor. That's all. Eh? He said, now I understand why you are feeling stomach pain. Eh? See, if you put three dozen bananas in the belly, what will happen? Eh? So, the idea is that Jeeva tends to become unregulated. Hmm. So, also he tends to want to enjoy things which are not sanctioned. Hmm. He, like for one, uh, one, one fellow who has obesity, you know, the junk food is not sanctioned. Hmm. One day, I saw him eating a big cake. I caught him and said, Hey, for you it is not sanctioned. How did you take this cake? Huh? Said, Prabhuji, if they lovingly somebody gives, how can I say no? Huh? <laughs> <Isn't it? laughs> so... I said, anybody will give you lovingly, say anything to eat, will you eat it? Hmm? You should be sanctioned, sanctified, regulated. So, that means sensory education is not banned for you. It is, you know, it is given in a way that will not harm us. So, we can call it as a uh, accept harmless sense gratification program meted out by the lord the vedas huh? so that is a, why i am calling it the harmless sense education program actually if you accept this program given by the lord for sense education the purification will gradually happen it will not happen very fast but it will happen huh? because it is uh, it is aligned with the vedas it shows that you are obedient to mother and father similarly you are obedient to the lord huh? if you are obedient to the lord and accept his plan for you Uh, that is actually very glorious hmm? so in this way one can become gradually so here i have written forgetting meaning and purpose of life due to sense gratification hmm? so now now here i told you these people they forgot the mission i was telling you now there are other people hmm? like for example is the nature of demons so you can see ravana or hiranyakashipu or kamsa and all these people you will see they will not care about what is sanctioned and what is uh, what is not uh, uh. so you will find uh, uh, like you know stealing land of another gold of another wife of another so these are examples of you know uh, demoniac behavior hmm? you find such demons actually we get degraded they 
they get into harmful sense gratification hmm? and the hence grat- so the very same sense gratification becomes source of all misery eh? for them so now coming to the uh, now three things i told you huh? direction destination vedic life work on goal of work mm-hmm. and forgetting meaning and purpose of life mm-hmm. so meaning and purpose of life is the purpose of life is to purify heart and go back to god as i told you huh? that is the actual purpose of life and the and the life is meaningful if it is led uh, with a proper uh, if it is led according to the uh, scriptural law huh? so i will write about that also meaningful life what it is meaningful life means yeah mm you will see that acceptance of god alignment with god acting for the pleasure of god <laughs> this is meaningful life yeah? the acceptance of god is the most foundational thing asura means he doesn't accept god he thinks i am god <laughs> or money is god <laughs> you know enjoyment is god that's a demon <laughs> and devotee means oh you know to wake up in the morning and see the sun shines the cloud showers you know the crops grow the fruits uh, fructify uh, the fruits ripen the flowers blossom the seasons change and all these uh, miraculous things that are happening in the creation it's not done by me huh? it's all being orchestrated by the supreme all loving father of the 8.4 million species of life huh? is providing us for everything and is he just providing us so that we can eat and fill up our belly and enjoy sense gratification how nonsense it is huh? it's not that we just take away all these things ignoring the all loving father and then do our own nonsense in this world the goal is okay you accept this pleasures which is offering you and then use the body for the purpose for which he has given you huh? so he has given me body with all the senses so i should uh, utilize the senses in his service that's meaningful life correct no acceptance of god alignment with god means scriptures no huh? align with the scriptures acting for the pleasure of god means yagna correct no so this way does and acting for the pressure of god means yagna yagna by vishnu huh? either we say sura not asura correct no so th- this is the meaning of this is the meaning of life meaningful life huh? and people who know this to meaning and purpose of life those who know meaning and purpose of life also know smaller and bigger picture of life see a child making sand castles in seashore may do it playfully but knows that when the sun goes down it gets dark you know he will just dust his hands and go with parents who are calling him correct no so is a child's relation with the seashore making sand castles or the child's relation with the parents parents similar material world is like seashore huh? hmm and the par- parents relation with this spiritual world huh relation with parents is the like spiritual world and material world is like seashore so he, that they, because he knows the meaning and purpose of life so the child knows very well that you know yes i have come here to seashore but it is a temporary period of time maybe one evening for a couple of hours but when i go home i'll be living all my life with parents you know so many years this is a small temper similarly the intelligent living beings know that this material world is this life span of 100 years is a small flash in the time span of eternity mm-hmm. 
how big it is. It's insignificant it is. I should not uh, become enamored or, uh, by the glitter and glamour of this world. You know, just because I'm born in this world, it's a short duration of life. Put it, put this, 100 divided by infinity, how much it is? Zero, practically. It is, in, it is insignificant. People say, I'm an IT engineer, I'm a chartered accountant, I'm this, I'm a gold medalist. You know, I have my own dot-com company. You know, I have this, I have that, I have done so many things. It is zero. Because it is a hundred year span of life divided by infinity is nothing. So one clearly knows that my relationship with this material world is a short-lived relationship. And then I have to change my position. Today somebody may be you know, president of a country. Next life he can be a dog somewhere. Yeah, or he can be a cockroach somewhere. Like maybe a scientist is doing research in the laboratory and publishing papers. I published 58 papers. I am such a great scientist. Next life he can become a rat in the same lab. Then nobody will even know it's the same scientist. Isn't it? Yeah. They will drive him out of the lab. Yeah, get out. Is it not true? So one shouldn't take the temporary positions too seriously. One should not take. Because if one knows meaning and purpose of life clearly, then one will not be enamored. One will not become intoxicated by you know, the false presentation of Maya in this world. So, in the same manner, a devotee of Lord is never enamored by Maya's false presentation of glitter and glamour, which is short-lived. A devotee remembers the unchanging and everlasting virtual world, be the goal. Correct, no? Devotee is very clear. Devotee is never bewildered or confused. One is very, very clear about this. This clarity is very important. Who am I? Where do I belong to? Where, do I'm, where am I supposed to go? So, uh, this is about the meaning and forgetting the meaning and purpose of life due to sense gratification. So now, let us go to the fourth one. The Vedas say, you know, See, <laughs> generally what happens, in a car, for example, Prabhupada gives the example. If you have a car in the morning, what does a businessman do? He makes sure the car is washed. Huh? You put air in the tire, you put uh, water in the radiator, you put petrol in the car. Now the car is ready, right? Hmm? After that, what you should do? Once, you, once a man sits in the car, inside, will he be meditating on the car? What will be his work? Do, uh, work? Uh, focus on the business. Go and meet the clients, do business and make money, which is a business. Similarly, the jiva is seated in the bodily car, correct, no? So, jiva seated in bodily car should take care of his body and mind well, so that he can utilize them for his business of Krishna consciousness which will purify him and take him, it is 
తాగో శరీరం కాదు ధర్మ సాధన సో ద లైక్ యు ఆర్ ఆర్ జీవ సీటెడ్ ఇన్ దిస్ బాడీలీ కార్ నా సో లైక్ యు గెట్ అప్ ఇన్ ద మార్నింగ్ యూ బ్రష్ యువర్ టీత్ యూ టేక్ అ షవర్ క్లియర్ యువర్ బెలీ టేక్ అ షవర్ అండ్ వేర్ నైస్ ఫ్రెష్ డ్రెస్ యూ నో ఈట్ సఫిషియంట్ ఫుడ్ సో యువర్ ఫిజికల్ ఫిట్నెస్ కీప్ ఇట్ వెల్ స్లీప్ వెల్ బీ వెల్ రెస్టెడ్ ఎక్సర్సైజ్ యువర్ బాడీ సో ద ఎక్సర్సైజ్ రిలాక్సేషన్ స్లీప్ గుడ్ డయట్ and uh, medical care for the body all these things are meaningful provided you know the purpose for which the body is given to you isn't it the power of the body is not meant to be pampered the body is to be pre- preserved for using in krishna consciousness eh? for uh, on the other hand nowadays we find people are pampering the body how by how many 24 type of hairstyles eh? isn't it yeah yeah cosmetics with lipsticks and you know, nail polish like prabhupada was saying one uh, uh, one man and woman husband and wife one devotee was selling back to godhead magazine the husband said no, i don't want back to godhead magazine he said instead with the same money he purchased lipstick and nail polish for his wife huh? now when she put nail polish and lipstick both are old fellows husband and wife both are 70 70 years <laughs> and the man now man is becoming attracted to his wife huh? that means the same money some 10 cents of money Uh, which he used for lipstick and nail polish that i'll give him to his wife and both of them you know remained in the metal world <laughs> if they purchase the back to godhead they read and go back to godhead it's the same money <laughs> isn't it that means they are pampering the body isn't it <laughs> isn't it man buying the old man buying lipstick nail polish for his old wife yeah. remained in metal world mm-hmm. yeah. but he refused to buy btg magazine huh? with the same money let's see and this is this is example of pampering isn't it <laughs> pampering the metal body similarly there are many old men who are playing golf huh? in a checkers golf and they're walking a dog that's how they were sitting playing cards yeah. some of them have become 70 or 80 now they are worried the body is not working they are doing all the exercises some of, see they want to maintain the body but they don't ask what is this body meant for see it's not wrong for you to do exercise and keep the body well provided you know for what purpose the body should be utilized correct no keep the body healthy and use it in krishna service but they they don't know that purpose that is why i wrote here if you see here take care of the bodily car but don't forget the business huh prabha says that because if you forget the business then you will be merely pampering the body correct right, no most people what do you think are they pampering the body or are they using the body well pampering the body yeah there are so many boys and girls going to gym nowadays you seen that they have this treadmill they have the cycle and they are no keep the body you know a lot of exercise they do actually you ask go and ask these boys and girls okay you want to give the body very good uh, good looking for what they want to attract opposite sex that is the purpose boys want to show their biceps to girls and attract the girls yeah and the and the girls also want to say that you know i can self defend myself and i am also very strong eh? yeah and many men women are nowadays walking in the morning brisk walk because they are getting obesity because of junk food they have to walk and keep the body slim they want to look a uh, slim slim means attractively thin thin is not a good word thin means you know hey you look so thin you huh? so they want to look slim huh? isn't everybody in fact see i am giving a bhagavad gita vagavatam lecture so many fellows in youtube has so much can you tell me how you look so slim people are asking i said is this your interest hear what i am saying <laughs> <laughs> isn't it how you look young how you look slim because a man's goal is to look attractive correct no for what for attracting the opposite sex that means they are pampering the body correct no that is so this is about pampering of the body in the same manner now let us come to another important point
See, there is one devotee called uh, Jayananda Prabhu. Uh, he was a temple president. Prabhupada had told him to take care of a temple. But the temple had no money to pay the rent. Hmm? So he became a taxi driver. Hmm? Every day he would go as a taxi driver, earn money. And with that money he was maintaining temple. So he made another boy into president. <laughs> he said, you be president and I will bring money. Hmm? So he didn't care about the post of president. He simply wanted to see that somehow the temple is doing good activity, it can be run. Hmm. Later on, the Jayananda Prabhu, you know, at one time he got a disease called leukemia. Hmm? So he was admitted in the hospital. And uh, his parents sent him something like uh, $5,000 hmm, for the disease to be treated. At that time, when he met the doctor, the doctor said, See, you can spend this money, we can prolong your life a little bit, maybe six months or one year. But you are, this disease in your body is like ra ravaging your body. We can't save you totally. Do you wish to extend your life? If you want, you, we can do that a little bit. So then he thought very deeply, should I extend my lifespan by six months with being bedridden? Instead, if I give this money to Prabhupada, you know, this can be used for Krishna conscious activity. So he gave away the money. He said, take this $5,000, Prabhupada, because anyway, my body, it will die today or tomorrow. Why to just drag on with this body? Mm -hmm. So he gave over the money to Prabhupada. And in the hospital, you know, he would request the devotees to bring prasad from the temple, a cake and mitai and everything. So every morning he was giving class in his bed only. And all the other sickly people would come around the bed. Mm -hmm. He would give them a class and uh, serve out prasadam, you know, from the temple, regularly like this. So although his body was gradually decaying, it was, uh, you know, losing its power, and eventually he's going to die. Mm -hmm. Till the last day, the death approached him. Till then he was preaching and distributing prasad every day. Gave away the donation to. So he clearly knows, eh? uh, why do I need money? To keep the body and soul together and to serve the Lord. That's all we need. Hmm? So, it's a very, very positive example, isn't it? See, you know, he knew exactly what is the best thing to do, the being in the hospital. Because his goal is clear, correct, no? His goal is crystal clear. Huh? On the contrary, nowadays we find um, youngsters, everybody want to become an engineer nowadays. Huh? In general, a doctor you can see. Because they can make a lot of money, correct, no? You can see that. Now, even chemical engineers are going for IT jobs now. I used to wonder, what will they do with the computer and chemical? Huh? You know, are you going to put some chemical in the computer? They don't do anything with chemical. They become a chemical engineer, but then they do IT job because they know where the money is. Money, 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 money is honey. Correct, no? Okay. Now, when you get the money, are they earning money to keep body and soul together? You know? So, we can write that. See? Modern day society programs you. You programs you to... Make you money making machine without which no father will give girl. Mm -hmm. Boy. Mm -hmm. like, nah. But boys are worried. If I don't have 10 lakh per annum or 20 lakh per annum, at least, huh? and I may not get married, one boy openly told me, I'm afraid. Why should you be afraid? <laughs> You know, see, if a rich man doesn't give his daughter to you, there are many poor girls who can marry that he doesn't want. Isn't it? Because prestige. That means, modern boys are fooled to maintain ambitions such as prestige, status, you know, position in society, Status symbols, such as what type of car you use, you know, what type of dress you wear, which type of 
For example, even if, imagine you are getting <clears throat> 2 lakh rupees in tuition uh, classes, but if company is giving only 1 lakh per month, tuitions are giving you 2 lakhs, still the boy will go for company job. Do you know why? See, company job takes 16 hours, he will go. Tuition job takes 23 to 4 hours. Uh, and he is earning 2 lakhs. See, in 4 hours you are earning 2 lakhs. Here in 16 hours you are earning 1 lakh per month. Boy will go for which one? Company. Because you know, my parents want me to go to company. Not parents, your own mind only. Huh? Yeah, because it's what he wants, prestige. You want to say that I am working with cognizant, persistent, ignorant. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? Huh? Ah, yeah. <laughs> so, you will see that. Actually, that means, you know, with the purpose of I mean, the purpose of money is what? To keep uh, the body and soul together. Money is for keeping body and soul together and to serve the Lord. Neither are they serving the Lord. There are boys who are making monthly, they are getting 2 to 3 lakhs. You ask them to give some donation to Krishna, they give 1000 rupees. Of the easy, easy membership, can you give 500 rupees, 1000 rupees? Are you are drawing 2 lakh. Ideally speaking, according to Shastra, one should give 50% of one's earning to the Lord. They will faint if you tell them. Huh? Yeah. So once when I was telling in the class, one is supposed to spend 50% for Krishna. One boy said, Prabhu, is it 5% or 50%? Yeah. <laughs> you know? So when it and for the wife and family, they will spend money like anything. You will see that. Shell out money, you know, so many five hundred rupees note, thousand rupee notes. You go to the shopping mall, how much you spend? Is it not true? But none of these people are going to come with you in this world. Hmm? Your company will not come with you. Your grandparents, parents, wife, children, family, house, your laptop, your TV, your fridge, your washing machine, nothing will come with you. And you will go, at the time, just like in airport, you stand like this, no? You know, you can check, you know, security check, you know. You don't carry anything with you, huh? when you go. At that time, Krishna will ask you, what did you give me? See, I gave you so much in this world for you, and you are so stingy to give me one penny. Hmm? So... You can see the bogus values of modern educated fellows. Huh? Like modern boys are fooled to maintain ambitions such as prestige, status, position, society, status symbols. Hmm. And slog hard like donkeys. Huh? Uh, without utilizing time, energy, money in Krishna's service. Correct, no? This is the situation of the modern society. How they are made fools, you can see that. Hmm? Prabhupada writes, Svabhidu varahoshtra karehi samstuta purusha pashuhu nayat karana patopeto jatu nama gadagrajaha. You read that verse, Prabhupada, Prabhupada says, modern day society has made everybody shudra, he says. Hmm? See, what is the difference between a shudra and the other three classes? Like a Brahman, he takes risk uh, of life. For example, tomorrow a Brahman doesn't know where will food come from. He has full faith in the Lord. Lord will send me something. Hmm? Kshatriya goes to the battle and takes life risk. He takes because his head may fly. Uh, his head may be cut off in the battlefield. He's ready for that. Hmm? And he takes risk to protect the nation. Hmm? You take Vaishya, he takes money risk. You know, he invests a lot of money. He may become bankrupt also. Hmm? He takes a very, very big risk. And he employs thousands of people. Uh, yeah, Vaishya. But Ashudra is the only one who never takes any risk. He wants, you know, your employer who can employ him and give him steady money. Monthly salary you give me. And so modern day society is producing which class most? Ah, Shudra, you will find. You will find. They are very dependent on the mercy of others. The purpose says they take a certificate in their mouth and they go, sir, is there a job for me? And he says, unemployment, get out. Then they go to another company, third company, fourth company. Some boys don't get jobs for one year of Endeavor, they come and choose it also. You've seen that? I said, Papa says, well, see, even the birds and the elephants are getting their daily food without even earning a degree. You can see that. Did they go to school or college anytime? If they get food, why will you not get? See, you have to work. We don't say you sleep at home. You have to do some work. But the point is, you don't have to be so much dependent on the mercy. I'll tell you, for example, if one boy starts a Dabba Prasad, for example, the company area, you go to Hinjavadi or even here also in IT companies, people are starving for good food, correct? No? Huh? And you will find only one person 
you don't start a very big govindas very big hotel or anything like that from home only huh? from your home wife and husband proper says in ahmedabad is a one husband and wife they were having a hath gadi you know hand cart huh? hand cart hand cart and he is making bhaji pakoda puri hot and lot of people surrounding it and he and his wife the man is earning honorably and maintaining his family and is doing a business huh? so you will find there are many businesses simple simple uh, many ways my ma- can but the problem is man wants prestige huh? he wants status he wants prestige he wants position in society what is that position <laughs> ridiculous uh, position we uh, have to slog like donkeys and you get a position you get a medal from the other fools in the society who will say i am also a good donkey you are also a good donkey both of you both are very good donkeys that's all so that is why you will see uh, actually if you know the ultimate goal of life you know that the earning of the money is only for keeping body and soul together to serve the lord so this is how people find that the time is running out the time is running out bodily energy is running out imagine for example you have to work 16 hours a day then where do you have time for krishna consciousness so they will come to that point now in a wrong map of life makes us lose time money energy instead of investing time money and energy in krishna service for foolish living it it is squander it sense gratification mm-hmm. artificial correct na no? see the wrong map of life makes this so what is the correct map of life i told you huh? correct map of life is scriptures are the correct map huh? some said that hari toshanam pleasing the supreme lord is the goal of life huh? that's correct map and wrong map means wrong map of this kind of sense gratification we lose time money energy and we find the life extremely busy huh? so then when we then we say prabhu ji where is time for krishna consciousness i have no time to chant i have no time to read you know uh, in the, in this way we complicate the life more and more huh? when life becomes more and more complicated if imagine if husband is if one man is like this woman also is like that when they both combine they complicate double complications and they double complicate their life and uh, living in the cities uh, and increasing the commodities in the city like for example the bungalow the car the job you know raising the children the schooling and hospitals all these things big 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 money is required and in this way one gradually finds oneself complicating one's life now an interesting thing i'll tell you correct map of life saves one from sinful activities time wasting activities on see in your correct map of life it saves you from sinful activities that saves lot of money also correct right, no? now somebody may say prabhu i don't smoke or drink or drugs i don't take anything i'm not saying okay then you may be spending time in time wasting activities there are boys who are playing video games there are boys who are uh, uh, you will find they are spending too much time with smartphone huh? there are you may not be sinful but you waste lot of time in this world is it not true hmm? so time wasting activities huh? pleasurable activities correct right, no you know, somebody is uh, you know, sleeping too much like it fellow sometimes monday to friday they work saturday full day they sleep and day also night also 
time wasting activities is it not true huh? yeah so uh, some fellows are spending in time i mean sinful activities others are wasting their human form of life huh? you sleeping is a goal of life the polar bear's body is the best body is it not isn't it yeah hmm? so in this way it saves you from wasting your time the devotees of the lord are very alert huh? ತನ್ನಾಮರೂಪಚರಿತಾಸುಕೀರ್ತನಾನು ಸ್ಮೃತ್ಯೋ ಕ್ರಮೇಣ ರಸನ ಮನಸಿ ನಿಯೋಜ್ಯ ತಿಷ್ಠನ್ ಭಜೇತನುರಾಗಿ ಜನಾನುಗಾಮಿ ಕಾಲಂ ನಯೇದ ಕಿಲ ಮೆತ್ಯುಪದೇಶ ಸಾರಂ ಸೊ ಉಪದೇಶ ಸಾರಂ ಎಸ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ರೂಪಕ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ and what he says there he says one should spend one should spend one's life in uh, two things he says thing Mm. see with the tongue eat prasad and speak the glories of the lord huh? and also with the ears hear the holy name and holy fame of the lord and remembering his past times live a life peacefully blissfully huh? and completely satisfied huh? uh, and then he saying live in the mood of vrindavan tishtan bajita danuragi jana anugami by by following all these things in the footsteps of two things uh, kalam nayed spend your time like this he says no who can do this upadesha saram when a person is fixed up in the ultimate goal of life you know that is very important only a person who is fixed up in ultimate goal of life can live as a bow so now <clears throat> you will find uh, on the other hand okay, you find in this world educated people how they spend time you let us say spend time one thing they do is that they are doing oh, sorry you know hard work becoming workaholics not finding time for even good health mm-hmm. or time for family or uh, rest and relaxation correct and this is one thing they do another thing when they are frustrated when they are sorry and they are too much frustrated what they do they resort to yeah. uh, one is they they resort to time wasting mm-hmm. entertainments like video games <laughs> just to forget video games or tv what is trending in web series web series yeah or web series or netflix <laughs> same <laughs> yeah this or sinful uh you know mind intoxicating activities because that makes you forget no correct see the this is in first quadrant this is quadrant 1 activity this one quadrant 1 this one and this is quadrant 4 sorry 
this is quadrant four activity. This is what they are spending. Yeah. So, actually, the if you see quadrant two, instead one should spend time in quadrant two. What are the activities? Yeah. If you see quadrant two activities, for example, the first thing in quadrant two is self care, yeah. which means you no know, good. Diet, health, exercise, relaxation. This is very important. And then you can also study about self-realization, Bhagavad Gita, and learn. So the word self-care. Another thing one can do is good communication. Communication with others to build. Genuine relationships, because if you have genuine relationships with others around you, then a lot of work can be done very easily. If I have a good connection with Sanatan Dharmapu, then I don't have to worry about Karadi and Magarpeta. Huh? He is running so beautifully, huh? along with. Uh, so, the, if, but if a relationship is not good with people, will they cooperate? No, they won't cooperate. They will do their own thing. Then the, there is disconnectivity. Actually, my Guru Maharaj taught me that. In this world, you can do miracles if you have genuine spiritual relationships huh, with people. Any other motive comes between relationship, it will stink. Huh? It cannot be good. Spiritual relationship means completely unconditional, huh? and pure. So, uh, by proper communication with others, proper communication means respect, trust, and love. Huh? That is proper communication. Deal with respect, trust, and love. So, you know, one can one can do this. Another thing you can do is. Yeah, so proper planning and organizing. Hmm? Now one can do. For example, people whom you are working with, you can develop them. You can develop yourself by training and education and skills. Because then. Then you can look out for new opportunities based on those skills. You know, new opportunities will open doors based on above uh, skill, above skill development. You have developed yourself, so you can do wonders now. Uh, you can open to be open to new opportunities. Yeah, you are also planning, organizing, isn't it? So these are things in the second quarter, and one can actually work. You see, intensifying sadhana by planned time for proper shastric study, japa, and spiritual contemplation. So we can remove the thorns like anarthas, you know, and we can make road for spiritual advancement. Is it it? These things are possible to be done. That's what this quadrant two you find is a very good quadrant. Which is what is quadrant two? Quadrant two means ah, uh, not urgent but important. Huh? This is quadrant two. So this is the best quadrant, and also. See, prevent any breakdowns in our health, our project, our relationships by advance planning and anticipation. Correct, no? If you plan in advance, then you are you can avoid them. You can foresee. Correct, no? Like there was one uh, bridge which had a small crack. One man went to the station, and in the station master's notebook, he wrote, "Sir, this bridge is having a crack. Please uh, attend to it." Not only he wrote. He waited for the station master to come. When he came, he told him also. 
said, there's a crack, please do the needful. He said, okay, okay, we will report, he said. So almost six months, they didn't repair it. And one day, Rajdhan Express was going very fastly. And the bridge collapsed. 20 people died. Although it's a very nice AC coach. You're sitting comfortably in AC coach and you die. <laughs> you know, just see, huh? is it? Huh? That's what happened because stitch in time saves time. So many of us have experienced that we didn't take an action on time. And then it turned out to become a crisis. Correct, no? Yeah. Similarly, adequate rest is very important. Six hours of good sleep. And the sleep is not just that you lie down for six hours. The sleep should be very fulfilling also. When you, like, you know, when you go to sleep, you should be completely asleep. And next day morning, you should enthusiastically get up. So you feel very fresh. Otherwise, some of our devotees sleep at 11 o'clock and get up at 3 o'clock and they drive a car or a bike and they get an accident. Because they doze while driving. Is it good? Yeah, that's why I wrote the very first thing, self-care. Yeah. So once you take care of oneself, and we should teach all the people, people of the team to take care of themselves very well. So these are things in second quarter and you can do wonders. They can do wonders. You can, uh, if one, this is, this is, this should be focused. Now, why a person cannot be in quadrant two, as I told you, the previous two quadrants you will find, because spiritually he does not have clarity. As I told you, he does not have that destination and the direction. Not fixed up. He's not a fixed up devotee. So, uh, he is actually pulled by. There is a third thing also, uh, which uh, takes his time, which is this one. Sorry. If you see quadrant three, it is unimportant interruptions. Unimportant or useless urgent interruptions. Like somebody will tell me, Vashampu, a special guest is waiting for you. They want to urgently meet you. They will say like that. And then when I call them to my office, okay, come, what is the matter? And he will say that, you know, this, 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 half an hour he will talk. And then I will say, oh, the matter is big matter. It will take time to uh, solve it. So can you please send me an email? I will say, ah, yes, yes, I will send you an email. <laughs> okay, if you are anyway, you can send email. Why did you take my time? <laughs> half an hour, you could have earlier only send the email. <laughs> so this kind of urgent, uh, you know, and uses many times interruptions will come. Uh, useless interruptions also. And also time wasters. <laughs> Many of the time wasters also, uh, like uh, this also includes things like, for example, you have a desire to socialize and become popular amongst people. You want to show off. Showing off and all takes a lot of time <laughs> because impressing others. Huh? Yeah, for example, you know, desire to impress others or show off takes time. Takes time and effort. Correct. <laughs> Why? Because that's a passion. It's in mode of passion, you see. So, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. Third quadrant is useless. I mean, uh, urgent, but uh, you know, not important. But fourth quadrant is not urgent, not important. So we have to nullify this three and four. They are samaguna rajaguna. And quadrant one is not totally bad. Quadrant one makes us workaholic because quadrant two is not done. If you do quadrant two, planning in advance, as I told you here, then quadrant one will be moderate. Huh? If you work on these things. Ah, correct. Quadrant one is reactive. Quadrant two is proactive. We can write that also. Yeah. So So this is uh, actually we have to know these things first, you know. Yeah, this uh, this is due to, uh, it's like crisis management. Huh? Yeah, hard work becoming workaholics for crisis management. Yeah, it can be health crisis, it can be money crisis, everything. Money crisis, why? Because you didn't save the money. <laughs> one boy got laid off in Google you know, in America and he went for one lecture. He was coming and crying. And I asked him, did you save some money? He said, Prabhuji, I never thought I'll be laid off, so I never saved. <laughs> See, whether you're going to be laid off or not, saving is a good habit, no? Huh? Keep saving always. 
Now suddenly you uh, may be laid off. At least saved money will help you. Right now, one should not squander the money. Hmm? So you can see that uh, this Upadesha Saram is spiritual instruction. He says, uh, uh, here, hearing the katha, like morning program you all are doing. So now I'm going to come to the conclusion. Now it's getting late. Now I'll come to the conclusion. See, this wrong map of life makes us lose time, money, energy. This is actually the main punchline. Hmm? So we need to stick to the right map of life, huh? which is the which is given in the scriptures. And Prabhupada, Shil Prabhupada made it even more easy through his books. Uh, and he would quote one very famous verse, which I will show you. Huh? Which Prabhupada, Prabhupada was very fond of that shloka. So all of you can repeat that verse. Hmm. Kamasya nendriya pritir Labho jiveta yavata Jeevasya tatva jignasa Snartho yascheha karma bihi Any three devotees can recite please? Any three of you? Kamasya nendriya pritir Labho jiveta yavata Jeevasya tattva jignasa Nartho yascheha karma bihi Kamasya nendriya pretir Labho jiveta yavata Jeevasya tattva jignasa Nārtho yascheha karma bihi Kāmasya nendriya pretir Labho jiveta yavata Jeevasya tattva jignyāsa Nārtho yascheha karma bihi See the first line says Kāmasya na indriya pretir Do not engage your desires for sense gratification He says Engage your senses in Krishna service. Huh? See, therefore it is very important for us to study Gita Bhagavatam regularly to understand how beautiful place is the spiritual world huh? and how wonderful Lord Krishna is huh? and how nice it will be if I go there, how happy will I be. Huh? You have to be very clear about that. Huh? The more our understanding and attraction comes to the spiritual world, we are likely to work in that direction. Huh? The destination becomes very strongly ascertained. Huh? So he says, don't, uh, I mean, uh, be stuck in this Indriya Preeti because the, as we try to meddle with the senses for our own gratification, we suffer. Hmm? But when the senses are used in Krishna service, the senses get purified. Hmm? Second line, he says, Labho Jiveta Yavata. Yes, you can earn profits, no problem. But it should only for keeping body and soul together. Otherwise, in Bhagavatam it is said, if you are going to work hard and accumulate millions of dollars, you are compared to a honeybee, which accumulates a lot of honey in the honeycomb, but the honeybee cannot enjoy that honey. Because one day the farmer will see a lot of honey has come. He will come with a fire torch and drive away the honeybees and take away the honeycomb with him. Correct, no? Similarly, sometimes the thieves, you know, doctors or lawyers, other people loot your pocket. <laughs> Eventually, if you save a lot of money, people say, you have so much money, you have to give me. Eh? You know, so... And, uh, and not only that, in case you escaped from spending, you saved, saved, saved till the death, when you die and go, that money will not come for your enjoyment. Somebody else will enjoy it. That means either money leaves you or you leave money, Bhagavatam says. So therefore, do not waste your time in accumulating wealth. Accumulate wealth, whatever is needed for your life. Huh? Like, you know, you have a own house and you saved some, you know, another 25, 50 lakhs you saved. Okay, now you get into, you know, spiritual life very seriously. Huh? Because sometimes people think, I'll, I'll make money for my son, then I'll make for my grandson. There's no end to it. <laughs> huh? Some people say, Swamiji, for my uh, four sons, I have built four houses. Now I am 75. Huh? I've given them four houses. I got my two daughters married. Okay, you're really responsible for your sons, which is very wonderful. But what have you responsibly done for Krishna? Huh? Now all your life is spent working hard, making money just for putting up the family that even the cats and dogs are putting up their families also. Huh? You are not the only one. So, one thing you should know, your son, let him grow up, 
stand on his own legs and purchase a house. <laughs> Let him do that. Just like you worked hard and made your house, they will make their house. Instead, you give him spiritual values. <laughs> you become a uh, spiritual advanced person and give him. By that, our material needs will reduce. This is another beauty. By advancing a spiritual life, our material needs will become reduced. And by not advancing a spiritual life, material demands will shoot up. You will see that. That's why he is saying, Labo jivete yavata. Third line he is saying, Jeevasya Pratman. Uh, your life should be spent for spiritual inquiry, not for just money making. Hmm. Your life is not meant for pampering your body and mind and senses. It is meant for Tattva Jignasa. See, Jignasa especially word is very important. You have to inquire about absolute truth. Sometimes we give a whole class and the voice have no questions at all. They are asking, when is the prasadam? Huh? That's the only question. Huh? You, know, you know, we should have some spiritual inquiry also. Huh? You know, where am I coming from? Where am I going? How can I get out of this world? Huh? So that should be so use your life for studying the Srimad Bhagavatam and asking questions and uh, executing your bhajan, sadhana and these things because these are all preparation for purifying the heart to go back to God. And na arto yascheha karma bihi. The goal of work is not to make money, he is saying. Huh? That is not the purpose. Because right now whole world is thinking I am the center of the world and money making is the goal of life. Currently it's like that. And uh, Bhagavatam teaches Krishna is the center of this world and uh, serving him, pleasing him is the goal of life. Huh? It's a diametrically opposite, you can see that, the two uh, perspectives. And so the wrong perspective of Hiranyakashipu, Kamsa, Duryodhana is being followed by the modern day people, huh? which is actually a false premise, it's a false paradigm. Huh? So thanks to Srila Prabhupada who explained through all his purports. So. Uh, this is uh, 1 to 10. Huh? So this is a very, very famous verse. Prabhupada loved this verse. Huh? What should one do in life? He tells us, <laughs> you know, very clearly, this is what you should do in life. If you do this, you know, you will become truly happy in life. You know? this, this is a beautiful verse. We will conclude with this, because it's getting late for all of you. So, when you come back to the topic here, this one minute. We are the Kalatva. Mm -hmm. Time management and setting right priorities in life. Yeah, you can easily manage time provided you are clear about these things. Mm -hmm. It's not difficult. We are doing many things which are unnecessary in life. Mm -hmm. That's what takes away our time. We are packing our day with useless things. Mm -hmm. So if we can pack our day with meaningful things, as we said in today's lecture, then... Um, like I'll tell you a simple example. Nowadays, boys have to work uh, for U.S. calls from evening 5 to night 12. And many, many of the work from home people are also doing that. And because they get late at night, then morning also they can't get up. So the whole morning bhajan is spoiled because of late night. Like that, yeah. And then daytime we chant, not very effective. This makes us weak in spiritual life. On the contrary, now, nowadays, many schools are asking for value education teachers. Our boys are getting so much trained in so much spiritual values. If you just join a school as a school teacher, for example, they give enough 50,000, 60,000 rupees per, per month, they may give, and the increment may not be too big, you know, regularly. But if one is satisfied, I will take 60,000, but I will not spend money unnecessarily. There are families who live close to the school and they don't travel too much here and there. They save the money every month. Then they are doing something meaningful in life, right? Like, you know, morning to evening, you're teaching values to many children. Some of those children will become devotees also. So, my humble request to all the devotees will be, take a profession which will eventually help you do something uh, meaningful for the world also. Otherwise, the life is going to go on a rut like everybody else. If you are going to be addicted to the modern type of lifestyle that is laid out for you by the karmis with an atheistic perspective, you know, then how are you different from them? 
ये मैं वैर धोती कुर्ता तिलक बट यू फॉलो नॉट वाट वी टीच यू यू फॉलो वाट दे टीच यू करेक्ट ना इट्स एग्जैक्ट लाइक मारीचा है मारीचा सेड आई विल रादर बी किल्ड इन रामाज हैंड्स एंड नॉट इन रावणाज हैंड्स इज सेड बट इन द नेम ऑफ सेइंग दैट वेन रामा वॉज चेजिंग आफ्टर हिम इन दम ऑफ अ डियर एट दैट टाइम एंड ही सेंड द आर आउट द डियर वाट इट क्राई आउट वाट इट हे सी दे हे लक्ष्मण so he was serving whom yeah. hmm. he was saying that i'll be killed by rama but he was serving ravana so he is ravana servant not rama servant on the contrary jatai was killed by ravan huh? but he was serving whom yeah. serving ram so you, you you can see the we should live like jatai or like maricha ha yeah. ah. so we have to serve but nowadays what is happening many of our boys wear dhoti kurta tilak in the wa morning and evening when they come to temple many of the grahasas come on temple sunday with dhoti kurta they like they are looking like devotees but throughout the week all day and night they are slogging hard for the cow flesh eaters huh? many of the karmis you know who are just uh, their goal of life is god is money is god for them huh? they are going to give their life for such people so where are what are your values in life what you what are living for think about it huh? are you going to okay you may say that prabhu i have not thought about it much Okay, at least start thinking about it. Huh? Think deeply. Uh, you have to have the guts to get out of this rut, huh? and then start something. I won't say everybody shave up and become brahmachari. Everybody cannot do that. If somebody can become brahmachari, it's good. If he can't, then you be a grahastha, but earn honorably. Hmm? Hmm? Like you can see here, the Govindas was having a big struggle here. You know, we had this uh, this thing. If a boy, any boy, says that Prabhu, I am seeing you have a lot of trouble. I will come and take it up. Huh? you know instead of going to it company i will run the govindas business actually just one good soul is required for running it huh? one who has that business knack huh? similarly you will find you know somebody uh, says i will start a reading room or something like that for the boys everywhere nowadays reading rooms are there you know that where the tuition centers are there you know one fellow told me in bhopal you can make 80000 rupees per month 70 80000 rupees people make easily you know of course you should not to have too much worry about prestige and status in society huh? You you know that I need to make some money to live in this world. Make some money. Find out some various professions which will actually give you time. Time is most needed for Krishna consciousness. So like you know, your morning program should be intact. Night you should be able to sleep early, and keep your body healthy, and uh, get the association of devotees. And daytime you should work like about ten hours max, eight to ten hours of work. Uh, and if you want to have a wife and children, you can have a family. but husband wife everybody should lead a very simple life uh, even if you have a job doesn't pay not paying much money if you are not a, a squanderer of wealth then you can save money like i know one couple husband and wife you know husband is a hindi teacher wife is a sanskrit teacher and both are earning only 24000 per month how much totally 48000 and they live in, their school is between iskon temple and uh, School is here. Iskand temple is there. Home is in the middle. Yeah. Two minutes walk to school and two minutes walk to Iskand. And they told me that we never travel in Uber, Ola, and Dal. We go in auto only. We go because we go in Uber, Ola, thousand rupees. Huh? Yeah, money will go away. They said we don't care about prestige in society. We are getting time for Krishna. Huh? They said uh, and they go morning whole morning program attend temple prasad also you take huh? and then you don't have to cook at home. Then you go to, and that fellow was telling me, I sit in my cabin and read proper Lila Amrit mm-hmm. comfortably. He said in a day he has only two or three periods just to take. He has time for reading proper books. Evening they have programs, they are preaching also. So very smart couple I feel, huh? because they have taken a time for reading. Job is a cool job, teaching job, and they are also preaching. They are also going to temple. Husband wife both are fixed in that ultimate goal. They say that Prabhu, we want to keep material life simple. Uh, so that it can be conducive for advancing in Krishna consciousness. Uh, how many boys can do that? Yeah, many boys will say, "Prabhu, instead of uh, earning twenty-four thousand in a school, I can make two lakhs per month if I join IIT company." Yes, you can make, but where is your spiritual life? Huh? The spiritual life goes as goes for a toss. Huh? Therefore, you decide clearly what do you want in life. You you have learned so much knowledge uh, from Prabhupada's books, so. And and you cannot leave everything and go to farm also. Huh? We are not used to farm life. Therefore, if you want to be in city, one should uh, mold one's life in such a way that it can be favorable for advancing in spiritual life. Shri Prabhupada ki. Thank you very much.
I can take one question or getting late? Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, now I can tell you. Yeah, yeah. Prabhuji, I just wish to uh, share some reflection. Yes. And if if uh, if required, Prabhuji, please... You can please stand here and say others yeah, can yeah. also see you. Yeah. Yes. If sure. needed, uh, you can also please uh, comment yeah. on this, Prabhuji. Yes. So many times what happens, Prabhu, is... Uh, first of all, this was a very relevant topic and you took it very structured, basis of Prabhupada's teachings. Very nicely it was there. Um, a person wants to be materially also successful, spiritually also successful. <laughs> because the person feels that unless and until I am materially successful, I will not be able to create an impact yeah. in society. So the intention, uh, it may be subtly there or not there, is to actually uh, preach Krishna consciousness. That's what the person says. Yeah. preaching karna hai, to materially bhi achha rahega, spiritually bhi achha rahega. And they remind us the same example that we give. A train runs on two railway tracks. Right. right? So one has to be materially also successful, spiritually successful. And they quote examples of such devotees in our society from the community of Chopati, Hyderabad, or even for that matter, Pune. But uh, what happens is we need to understand that these successful examples who are there in uh, Pune, Mumbai or Hyderabad, where who are materially good, spiritually good, these people never compromise on their spiritual component. And the, they are able to create spiritual impact not by their material position, but yes. by the bhakti shakti they have in the heart. <laughs> so this is something that uh, doesn't get uh, clarified. And people, some of what happens is the Maya is a very good cheater. She is the best cheater. Dhyutam chale tamasmi. So she is, uh, convinces the person, Avi spiritual life wo aajayega, pehle material life sahi karte hai. Then this is how a person uh, gets into yeah. like, okay, make this and then uh, in voice training what we have got, we have very wonderfully got all the scripts. Three years, we have done a very nice morning program, we have heard all lectures, we have finished course of positive thinker, self-manager, proactive leader. Ye sab kaan jane wala hai? Ye sab, this is all there in the core of my heart. So I am not going to lose anything, but I have to make this and once this is made, this is set, then uh, uh, I am going to just uh, get embark on the spiritual journey of making the whole world Krishna conscious. So these kind of ambitions also people have. So this is one thing I I wanted to reflect. Like what about this? What is there about this mentality? Second thing, just to add to that, is what happens is it's very important, Prabhu, I feel personally, that this couple you mentioned, 24, 24, and they go here, and 24 hours they're in, they're balancing their life very nicely. Nice number, 24 number. Uh -huh. So such kind of couples should be encouraged to become counselors. This is my opinion, right, Prabhuji. Yeah. Because these are the people who are actually leading the life as per Prabhupada's teachings. But somehow such kind of counseling is not available to our boys who are going for the Grahastashram. And they, many of the boys many a times have this, uh, they want to lead a life what you are teaching only Prabhuji. But as soon as they get into some counseling of the Grahastha and as per their scripts, they also tell that, of course, they are right in their upbringing. So they say, it's a practical new hope I got in today's day and age. You should actually lead a life like we'll tell you how to lead. And uh, you stay, the right. uh, don't, uh, yeah. Don't stay too close to temple and don't stay too away also. Be balanced. Go once a week. Correct. This is not required to too much participate. And come out, come out. Just you should earn money nicely. And again, same back to square one. What people are doing otherwise. Prabhupada did not make any difference between grihasthas and brahmacharis. Prabhupada didn't see women as ordinary women. Prabhupada saw the spark of Krishna conscious enthusiasm in man or woman or Brahmachari treated them all alike. In Krishna consciousness, you transcend the barriers of, you know, gender and you know the social order and all those things. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, and also, as he was telling now, many boys write to me saying that they want to try for UPSC and they or they want to try for MBA abroad and they have the same goal. They say that I want to make an impact in society. But my experience is, when they go to very big positions, they are super busy. They have no time. So the spiritual life also goes for a toss. Plus they are not able to make the impact on society what they intended to do originally. And they are not like Prataprudra king, you know, or like Yudhishthira Maharaj at the top, you know. Yudhishthira Maharaj, as soon as he became king of the world, he handed over the whole kingdom to his four brothers. He divided the world and told them, now I am going to Puja room, Hare Krishna. He was like that. How many boys are so advanced in spiritual life? I saw my spiritual master's role model in Bombay. You know, although he is like the inspirer of thousands and thousands of devotees, you know, he will always be utterly simple. He was completely spiritual. He was spiritually so effulgent. Right from day one, I have seen him, 1991 onwards. You know, he has no, I mean, uh, 
inclination for any prestige or post or position or honor or that that meeting is very important i have to be present you know you know it's a very important occasion you know my name should come here there nothing like that his heart is in vrindavan in the bhajan and kirtan but he is having such a big impact on the society i followed the same model from him i learned from him and in pune i kept my role as a very spiritual role and uh, teach studying the shastra teaching it to the other people training the leaders and uh, be uh, centered around krishna hari guru vaishnava centered giving them center so uh, then you will see that then the leader can have that type of impact otherwise we can't have impact if you don't keep the spiritual thing as you rightly said krishna chandra prabhu or dwaraka desh prabhu they are so so strongly situated in spiritual platform on the contrary what happens uh, as he said many of the grasas go to big big industries companies make a lot of money yes they do have some council or council camps once in three months or something like that they may do some service in the temple but if they have a simpler material life i am very confident they will be actually doing double of what they are doing in spiritual life there is no doubt about that they have the spiritual talent also to do something very wonderful they can do but for them to do they need time huh? biggest time crunch time uh, biggest crunch in kali yuga is time no you have see you have a human energy this much either you can use it in this side or that side but nowadays the job life takes like this huh? takes away your so uh, we have to therefore i told you your spiritual knowledge and awareness should give you that confidence to take a new direction in life huh? is a spiritual direction in life without fear look at the brahmacharis you know they also got educated as engineers doctors and all one point of time although the society opposed and relatives opposed they have taken a bold step to shave up their head and put on saffron and go out in the society as preachers you know they they are not like ordinary people they have become educated in very high big big degrees very meritorious degrees if they have taken such a big step in the direction of educating life so recently i had gone to calcutta in calcutta almost uh, eight couples met me and these couples are all voice trained boys along with their wives they are married now they all have decided to become full time grihasthas and uh, what is their main inspiration two people mukundilla prabhu and nam nam prem prabhu <laughs> nam prem prabhu and his wife are like bullets very very enthusiastic very powerful both are big preachers similarly our mukundilla prabhu and his good wife utter dedication you look at this hall now their house is just half of this small house i wanted uh, someone to make a video of their house <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah you should see and and she is a doctor and he is a department doctor in computer science in iit uh, a phd now from australia but their house is only half of this size they kept very simple house and husband wife are dedicated to you know preaching tribal care and iit preaching so many things they are doing so many initiatives like that so i i was thinking it will be nice to make a story on these type of couples now four or five couples you can uh, tell your uh, take interview and also take video of this uh, this thing and also as uh, sandan prabhu said i also agree with him that if we have such couples who have taken a bold direction in uh, this uh, spiritual direction actually this is not such a dangerous direction i'll tell you why Uh, this is not like you know husband wife leaving everything and joining temple full time we are not talking that that may be see already five families have joined eight families i told you uh, how are how are they going to survive so they have some money at home which parents have given plus in the temple also they will bring money and a part of the money will be given to them um, for their family and they are having a house right in the temple campus they have a house husband goes for his service wife goes for her service small house they get and they are ready to take that bold step so but uh, in the long run mm, the will there not be challenges in his con tomorrow this happens that happens so therefore a person if he keeps his spiritual status intact then life long you will always be wanted mm-hmm. actually who becomes uh, asar over a period of time one who offends vaishnavas you know or one who becomes a sense gratifier one who gets carried away by current of maya then only you suffer but if you keep your tempo high like you said <clears throat> about great souls then till your last breath krishna says shaknoti hai vayasodum prakshare vimokshana this is 
So then one will be able to make it. Therefore, if any of you say that Prachi full time is a little dangerous, better that we stand on our own leg by doing a job. Yes. So what we are talking of is a compromise between <clears throat> being a full time grihastha and being simply carried away by the current of modern day rat. In between the two, one can take a in between step where you look for a job where you can make out some money without losing your time and energy too much. Correct? No? I had a very simple formula. Maximize Krishna time, minimize Maya time. <laughs> Correct? No? Then when you have more time for Krishna, then you can do wonders. Huh? You can do a lot of good things in this moment. You all are very talented devotees. You have, your talent can be utilized in Krishna service rather than used in Maya service. Like you see this Rup Sanatan, two big ministers of Bengal, finance minister and home minister. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu got them to come to Vrindavan and become Goswamis. Otherwise, they were utilizing the time in political administration. Correct, no? So, they diverted that political direction to spiritual direction. Correct, no? Same thing, now you are giving your direction in IT coding, you know, coding and all those program writing and everything. So, that energy you have to give it in this direction. Then, the, our movement can progress very fast. We can reach a lot of people. Nowadays, there is every college is begging for teachers to come and teach values to students. Students are degrading like anything. Hmm. Now many colleges are ready to employ value education teachers. Like uh, D.Y. Patel in Pune, we are going. In the same manner, um, Achyutra Mahanpur has written a long mail. So they are asking Varanasi also. Yeah. There two colleges. Yeah. Hmm. One is Tolipati College hmm. and second one is Pusay College. Hmm. I recently spoke to the person who is Mm. Because next year onwards, they will be compiled. Ah, right. Yeah. And in case they create a post in the college where a grahastha can actually work, teach value education, and then make money, exactly. put up courses. The same thing. Ah, yes. Ima imagine our Bharat Vidya alone has 158 colleges. Yeah. That means we will not be able to supply them teachers. Yeah. Can you regularly go? Uh, they are asking. Correct. Correct. So, when you think about jobs which are only for money making versus jobs where you can add value to people's life, meaningful, meaningful life. For our pay, 3,000. Correct. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. In fact, you can earn in a very honorable manner by that. That's one direction, but it is worthy that sometimes what you can do. We can have a meeting with some five, six grihasthas who are leading a simple life but still making money, huh? reasonable money. It will be very good to have a collection of them, do some Ishtagoshti and come up with plans and then they can come and suggest also to our boys. Because what I am talking is from a brahmacharya point of view, I am speaking the philosophy part. Huh? So they can talk the practical part. Yeah. They can tell, I am myself doing it, even you all can do also. Like that if somebody can say, that would be even more helpful. This is a question online Prabhu. Yeah. I have been gifted with some talents. If I don't engage them, I feel I am lost. Can I uh, be best in my duties and serve senior Vaishnavas and preach? Yes. Actually, our mental need is uh, to develop ourselves in one line and do something wonderful for the world. That is our, that's our mental development. Everybody has that uh, ambition. Uh, so, what I would say, yes, you can utilize your talent uh, as long as you are confident that your, see, first of all, your basic Krishna consciousness should not be spoiled. Uh, six rounds of chanting, following for the principles, reading Prabhupada books, being an association of devotees. Even if you cannot uh, do much, then you contribute well, big, big amount of money. Like I was telling, if a, if a boy is uh, uh, drawing, drawing, for example, uh, something less than 50,000 or something like that, no? then he can pay at least 5% donation. And a boy is... Uh, uh, drawing like 75,000, then he can give 10 percent. Boy is drawing 1 lakh rupees, he can give 15 percent. Somebody is drawing more than 1 lakh per month, he can easily give up to 20 percent. And a boy who is abroad, working abroad, making 3-4 lakhs, he can give 25 percent very easily. That means if you cannot do services, at least contribute with money. Ah, at least contribute with money. Okay, you fulfill your ambition, and you are not doing much service, your life is too busy, at least contribute money, big amount of money you contribute. And uh, in case you can uh, render service, then contribution of money and rendering service, it's very wonderful, it's very nice. And uh, ultimately, decision is made by you only. Huh? See, we can only give something inspirational, but we don't decide anything for you. 
because you we all have to fly our own plane you have your plane i have my plane and our time is running out in the human body by as the sun rises and sets time is running out and and krishna is watching how are we utilizing our human body if you utilize it well you purify your heart very fastly you can go back to god when the day will come when even if one says i want to go to it company you cannot go the body is run out of fuel <laughs> you know one day the body will be gone so therefore we have to think about what have i done for my eternal ultimate goal huh? goal of life so be clear about your direction and destination yeah okay yeah that's all yeah shri prabhat ki gaur bhakta vrinda ki thank you very much so sanatan dhan prabhu and uh,